Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today in this video tutorial, I will be introducing a new humidity and temperature sensor that's SHG31. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor and let's go to the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search for the sensor as you can see on my screen and here we go and let's see what we got here. As you can see it's a humidity and temperature sensor and these are some of its more prominent features which you are able to see on my screen. Now you can also purchase a sensor from this website right from here. In this video tutorial I will be interfacing the humidity and temperature sensor SHT31 with a Raspberry Pi and a Python code and let's go to resource tab and we can have the Python code sample from there. Now you can download the code sample as a zip file from here just like that. Also the second way to get the code is from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Well. Now we need to set up some hardware connections and let's face it, how do we do that? In the hardware section part, first of all the requirement is of our humidity and temperature sensor that is SHT31. Now this here is our Raspberry Pi and these are the GPR pins of the Pi. Now what we require is an I2C shield which you can see on my screen and it's available on the website controleverything.com. The real thing to use this shield is to make connections easier with other I2C devices. So gently place this I2C shield over the GPR pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now we require a connecting cable and gently connect it to the sensor. And make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same reason for the I2C shield. Now we need a micro USB cable to power up our uh, Raspberry Pi and gently insert it over the power jack. The last part is to provide an internet connection and there are two mediums. The first is by an ethernet cable or LAN cable which you can see on my screen and gently insert it over the ethernet jack. The second is an wireless USB nano adapter which you can see on my screen. Now we are done with all the connections for this setup. Let's have a look over the code so that we can interface the sensor with that. For the Interfacing part, the first requirement is to locate the Python code and to, for that uh, we have to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and then we have to search for the sensor that is SHT31 and here comes the Python code. Let's have a look over the instructions. It says that we have to download and install Pipe assembus library as you can see on the raspberry pi and this link will help us to install step by step uh, the whole process for assembus library as you can see examples dependencies commands and installation procedure are provided here so note them down also uh, this is the command to run the python code note them out down also and now get back to the python code as you can see it's a dot py extension file now in the code as you can see uh, it's imported we have imported assemblers and time libraries and the address of the sensor that is 0x44 now in the writing section part we are going to send measurement command that is 0x2c and 0x06 is the high repeatability measurement and here comes the writing section part and in the reading section we are going to read 6 bytes of humidity data from the address that is 0x00 and temperature data is also there and here comes the conversion part of uh, this as you can see uh, we are using some of the formulas provided in the data sheet and at the very end of the code we have the output data to be displayed in the code uh, onto the screen which is the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit along with the relative humidity in percentage rh so uh, the next step in this part is to provide the practically uh, coding and let's see what we got there now in the interfacing part, uh, the first step is to copy this entire code of the Python as you can see and now open up the terminal for the Raspberry Pi and here we have to create a new file as you can see .py and here we have to paste the entire code and after that we have to save the code and this is the command to run the code as you can see on my screen and here is the temperature in Celsius and the Fahrenheit along with the relative humidity. Again when I sign it is there. Now when I press my finger over the sensor and run the command, you can see the change in temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit along with the change in relative humidity in percentage RH. So this is how the sensor responds. Now our whole setup is to show the applications and the benefits which is the next part. Let's have it. 
SHT-31 is the next generation of temperature and humidity sensor. It builds on a new CMOS sensor sensor chip. The sensor SHT-31 has increased intelligence, reliability and improved accuracy specifications compared to its predecessor. It has fully calibrated, linearized and temperature compensated digital output. Due to these features, it is applicable in a lot of applications such as medical appliances, IoT, automotive grade, industries and a lot more to mention. Now this sensor can be purchased from the website that is called controleverything.com and you can have the code from the source tab and then you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I just want to make it clear that for any further queries, you can go to and reach us on controleverything.com and for posts and comments, you can go to our community page. For articles and blogs, you can have a look up on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like just like this, you can go to our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.